Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are on the Isle of Sipta, in Map Square E12, building a townhouse. This is a build that is designed to be a narrow yet tall home, ideal for a village or a densely packed town, and this build can stand either on its own or when placed between other townhouses of different designs. This video uses mods almost exclusively in both construction and decoration, and the full list of mods and their load order can be seen, as usual, in the pinned comment below. As usual, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. You can get 68% off a two-year deal, plus a month free, when you visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt or use code eradyt at checkout. Stick around to the end of the video to learn more about how to browse the internet safely and securely with NordVPN. So, without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, I started off with, of course, the base plate. I used marble brick pieces from the Age of Calamitous mods for the walls and fence foundations, along with pine wood from the same mod for the floors. I built a fairly simple base plate for the home, segmented it into rooms, and then covered the base plate with pine ceilings on the interior and marble brick ceilings on the exterior. This combination of cold, hard, white marble and the warmer, more rustic tones of the pine wood makes for a really nice contrast and it gets even better when you add in the marble brick walls which I'll be adding next. Next, for the walls. This build will have three separate floors to achieve the aim of the build being narrow, but also quite tall. I also included a small outdoor area at the back of the build on the same level as the ground floor. I built the walls for each floor two tiles high, and included windows regularly around the build. As you'll see towards the end of the build, these windows don't really do enough to break up the exterior of the build and leave things looking very monotonous, therefore I will later be replacing these windows I'm placing down now with large tavern windows from the Dude's Delightful Decorations mod. This helps to add a bit more material variety and visual wear into the build, along with introducing more natural light which does wonders to improve the build as you'll see soon. Next, I built the roof. As you can see, this build is fairly small and simple in terms of surface area and shape, and therefore I didn't go through anything terribly complex for the roof. Rather, I just built small, simple roofs intersecting together to create one single roof that manages to avoid the usual pitfall of a boring uniform roof structure.
Finally, after placing fences on the balconies, I then used the aforementioned tavern windows in place of the original windows to make the build more visually interesting, which I think worked really well. Finally, when the shed of the build was done, it was then time to, of course, furnish. Approaching the build, I've added a lot of thorough decoration, along with augmenting the shape of the build with bay windows to help to break up any structural monotony, and make the build much more interesting overall. Entering the first floor, we first reach the entrance hall, which contains storage for shoes, coats, scarves and anything else that should be left here before entering the home. Inside the home itself, we are on the first floor, and we have access to the main dining room, and a small kitchen for preparing food, along with a bay window on either side of the floor that helps to make this level of the build feel much more open, and gives everything a little bit room to breathe. Heading downstairs, this is the workshop level. This floor includes two separate workshops along with a small bathroom underneath the stairs. These workshops help to keep the build functional and takes up the place, say, a garage would usually take within a modern townhouse.
Heading back up to the first floor, the corridor next to the kitchen allows access to the back veranda, which provides some nice ocean views. Reaching the second floor, this level offers access to front and back balconies, along with a small seating area and two bedrooms, one with two single beds and a shared wardrobe, and a master bedroom that includes a small bay window, which again really helps to allow the room and everything in it to breathe a little bit and give more perceived space. And there we have it, a townhouse on the Isle of Siptar, in Map Square E12. Thanks for watching, I was unsure how to feel about this build when I finished the construction phase, but the extra structural add-ons and decoration really helps to bring this build into its own, and capture the feeling of a modest family home that I'm personally very happy with. As I mentioned earlier, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. If you want to stay safe on the internet and ensure you can't be tracked by shady individuals, or whilst being able to access Netflix, BBC iPlayer, ITV, Hulu, HBO and more regardless of where you live, all whilst maintaining blazing fast internet speeds, NordVPN is the perfect choice for you. When you use my link or discount code you can get 68% off a 2 year deal, which comes out to $3.71 a month, an absolute bargain price for such a great service that I use almost every day. The software is a small download and it's easy to use one click and you're both connected and protected, and you have full access to the internet. Nord also has very strict policies on protecting your data, meaning you can browse in confidence. Visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt or use code eradyt at checkout to claim this huge discount and get the best VPN service available on the internet and also help me out a lot at the same time. As always, thanks to Nord for sponsoring the video. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos. As usual, absolutely anything is welcome. Don't forget to both follow me on Twitch and join the fun on our Discord through the links in the description. Again, don't forget you can get 68% off NordVPN when you use code EROTYT at checkout or you can go through my affiliate link in the description and pinned comment below. YouTube is currently my full-time source of income. So if you enjoy the content and would like to help support the channel so I can continue to put out the best content possible, do consider becoming a patron. There are multiple tiers of support from $1 to $20, offering many different benefits from a mention in every video to Discord roles, and even sneak peeks of every new video before anyone else. The link to my Patreon is in the description, so if you'd like to support the channel feel free to consider becoming a patron. On that note, a thanks to our current patrons Sammy, Sodialot, Randar, MK Pantheon, Sergeant Swede and Shannara. If you're new here, feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel. There are new Cone Nexiles videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday, so if you like what you see, subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video, and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.